Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm doing a haul video and as you could probably tell by the title and or any bags that you see like this or if you couldn't judge by my aerial shirt or my merry ears or my slight tan, I'm doing a Disney haul. Yay! Uh, no order whatsoever, but I will give you the prices as best as I can. So starting with what's actually in this bag, this was actually from the Disney Outlet store and I got it for a little girl I know. This is originally almost $22, I got it for eight. And it is a very cute little Minnie Mouse shirt and I actually don't know what this writing is. Oh, Walt Disney World. And I'm hoping this will fit her. I'm hoping I got the correct size. Otherwise, this will be very sad. <laughs> It'll be a very sad day if <coughs> she can't actually wear it. Forever, keep safe. So I got that little dress for the little girl that I was talking about, and I'm going to set that aside. Next, I have this free dining mug. That comes with the meal plan. We got a free dining whenever we went, so we did get this for free. I went with purple. Tiffany has pink. I almost got a blue, but I got purple instead. And this, again, was free with the meal plan. Otherwise, it's like, I think, $17 if you didn't buy the meal plan. Next. It was a very important purchase at the time, but I don't think I'm ever going to use it ever again. And that is one of those fans that have a mister. There's nothing in it, so I can easily just shoot as much as I want at you. But this was a godsend. I actually picked this up on the last day, which was kind of dumb. But this was $20 after tax, I believe. And it just has Disney Parks on it and the Fab Five. Also has some hair on it. I don't know if that's my hair or cat hair. I don't know. <laughs> so, and the little strap just says Disney Parks. Pop that off to the side. Next, this actually didn't, I didn't get this at the store, at the park. I got this from the Disney store, but I'm going to add this in the haul anyway. And that is a blanket. I am going to cover the little girl's name because I don't know how she would feel. But it does have some nuts and drill. It has Snow White, Ariel, I'm sorry, Belle, not Ariel, and Rapunzel on it. It's been a while since I looked at this fleece, so don't judge me. And it is just a little pink fleece. This is $25 after personalization. And yeah. Again, I don't really want you to see her name, so let's pop that right back in here. Maybe. It came out, so I assume it can go in. This hand always goes in first. Yeah, well, there is that. Next was a gift that I actually got from Tiffany, and that is this giant angel plush. Uh, I do actually know the price, it was $28. Um, <laughs> so I got Angel. She also did buy me a bottle of water, but that, that isn't that important. But I got Angel, which is Experiment 624, I believe? Is that her number? I don't know. But basically a pink version of Stitch. <laughs> and Stitch is one of my favorite characters. So whenever I saw Angel, I had to have her. And she's so cuddly. <laughs> Which is not like her character at all until she turned to the good side. But I'm gonna actually keep her here so you can kind of see her. These long pieces. That's part of her. That's like her antenna type things, antennas. Uh, my dad's about to walk through the shot, so that'll be fun. Hi, Dad. I'll get up. You can go through. Put in the garbage. Okay. Give me a minute. I'll set the keys over here for the moment and put them away when I'm done. <laughs> Sorry for that minor <laughs> interruption. My headband's falling over. Next, I don't actually have the bag anymore, but we did go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween and they did give us some candy. 
We didn't stay for the whole thing because I didn't personally feel right. So, stay for about half. Got candy. This is all that I actually have left because I gave it to dad. So. What kind of it? Uh, I don't actually know what's all in this bag. So I didn't look. Well, M&M's was the people that sponsored the Halloween this year. Uh, I see Snickers. I see Skittles. M&M's. Not actually 100% sure what all's in there. Next is this official Disney World hat. And I got my mom's name on there. This was a replacement hat that I bought for her whenever... She had lost hers originally, the one that she had originally, so I replaced it. And after personalization, it was $20, <laughs> but well worth it. So I'm going to pop that off to the side and actually lean over because I'm going to show you Grandma's, who's in this room. So Grandma's about to figure out how much I spent on her. And that was this set of three notebooks. And on the back... Sorry if it glares. You can kind of see the different designs that they have. And there are three notebooks in here for $10. I thought it was only one until nope. I read the back. There are three and they are $10. So She's also one that is kind of hard to shop for because she doesn't really like too, too much Disney stuff. She's more of a Looney Tunes fan, so I got her something she can write notes in. So, there's that. This was not a purchase in the park, but I'm going to show it off anyway, and that is my autograph book. So, we got Merida, Lilo, Tinkerbell, I should probably show you, Tinkerbell, Pluto, Mickey Mouse, Russell, Chip, Dale, Piglet, Tigger, Pooh wrote upside down in my book, Eeyore drew me a little cake because I wore a birthday pin that day, Ariel, and then we have Anastasia and Drizella. We also did technically meet Cinderella, Elena, Rapunzel, Tiana and Olaf, but those five I did not get autographs for. One because Olaf doesn't do autographs, and the other four princesses I actually forgot my book in the hotel room. So, Each notebook has 60 pages. Mm -hmm. Next was another freebie, and that is this lei that we got at Ohana, which I'm actually surrendering to my mom because she does like lays. I didn't have this on very long because I don't do well with lace, but she likes them, so Angel, you can you can wear those. Another thing I got for my mother, which was $17.99, so about $18, is this stitch mug. Dad said I was allowed to buy only one. I did not break his rule. The other one that I came home with was free, and I do have a soup cup over there that, again, I got his gift, so it was free. So I did not break Dad's only command. I only bought one, and that is for Mom, and it has so many different stitches on it. It is so cute. I actually saw this at the gift shop when we went to Ohana, and I was like, well, eh, I don't know. Maybe I'd see something else that I'd like. But then I went back to Pop, which is where we stayed, and... I saw this and I could not pass it up a second time so I quickly bought it and mom loves it. Right ma? Huh? You love your stitch cup? Yeah. Are you actually going to use it? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. So there you go Angel. You can also hold <laughs> stitch. This was actually from Universal Studios but I'm going to show it to you anyway. And that is this I Heart Minions, which I think this is actually Bob? Is this Bob? Is Bob this minion? I don't know. It's one of the minions. This was $17 at Universal. I got this for one of my friends, which by the way, when are you going to call Carrie? Soon. Yeah, we got this for our Avon lady named Carrie. She loves minions. 
And I don't think she actually knows that I planned on bringing her home a souvenir, so this will definitely surprise her. Ugh. My most expensive purchase of the trip was not this box, but what's inside of it. This was a $30 necklace, and I absolutely love it. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is a heart, and it has a little hidden Mickey in the middle, which isn't so hidden because I keep pointing it out, but it's so beautiful. I was so happy whenever I found it. So, definitely we'll be wearing this soon. I have found one of my pins, and that is my first visit button. I actually got two of these, which I know most people only get one. I think this one's actually kind of broken, so I'll probably keep this one. Why are you broke? Oh, there you go, fix it. But, um, I actually forgot to wear my first visit pin whenever I went to the Garden Grill, and the hostess gave me another one, so... I'm keeping one, and I'm giving one to my cousin. Actually, is Amber my cousin? I know she, Amber's Gloria's daughter. So yeah. she's in the family tree somewhere. I'm gonna call her cousin. Gloria's, so. Gloria's mother. She's in the family tree, so. Listen. <laughs> uh, I don't really want to give a full family history on film. So. <laughs> she's in the family tree. Next we have milk chocolate covered caramels which if Lisa knew I had these she would probably fight me to the death so I actually have two of these one of them is mine and the other one I gave to dad next dad has milk chocolate malt balls which are basically uh, what is the other name for these I never can remember what's the other name for these the melt balls. Malted milk balls. Malted milk balls. There we go. This is the other caramel bag I was talking about. And then the last thing I got for dad is chocolate covered almonds. Now, every bag like this was $7.99, so $8. Uh, which I did learn you could use snack credits on, apparently, but I found out too late, so. I paid cash for every single one of these things. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, what shall I go for next? I'll go for this. This adorable itty bitty Minnie Mouse. She's a little princess. And this was $17. I also have for Amber. I think she'll love her. And this is a very, very pretty Minnie. He's very cute. For the same person, Amber. I have gotten her, if I can get it the right way, this 2017 Walt Disney World Sorcerer Mickey hat in purple. Um, I got a large because the shirts did look like they ran small. She's definitely not in a large. She's a small to medium depending on what shirt. And it has all the different logos for Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Magic Kingdom, and Animal Kingdom, plus the year and the name. This shirt was 23 after tax, originally 22, which tax on a shirt made me kind of freak out a bit because usually in Pennsylvania anyway, you don't really have tax on clothing. Next was this. Oh dear. Lovely itty bitty headband, which was $25, I believe. It doesn't actually tell me, but I'm almost positive this was $25. I actually had this on Angel for the longest time until I could come home. So, you know what, Angel? Wear them again. Wear them with your lays. <laughs> uh, moving on, I have this Beauty and the Beast puzzle. Which was $20. I got this for Amber's mom, Gloria. I'm actually going to take these Marie ears off. Because they're falling off anyway. So, Marie, I'm going to put you over there. <laughs> this Beauty and the Beast puzzle I got for Gloria. Which is Amber's mom. Uh, Belle is actually Gloria's favorite princess. And this is a very beautiful scenery Grandma wants to see. So, 
This is a thousand piece puzzle, so <laughs> you can do this with the kids. Everything and is beautiful by Thomas Kincaid. I actually don't know who Thomas Kincaid is, but Very the box has definitely seen better days. <laughs> That's my fault, sorry. Kind of drugged the bag that it was in while trying to load it, but the puzzle itself is fine on the inside, just maybe not so much the bottom of the box. <laughs> It's very pretty. Oh, next, I have a purchase again from Universal, and that was saltwater taffy. Saltwater taffy. <laughs> uh, this was what was the price? Six ninety five from Honey Dukes, which is in Universal Island of Adventure. I don't even. I remember getting saltwater taffy when I was very little and liking it, so. Can't imagine me hating it as a grown-up. And my only other universal purchase was this $15 keychain. And it has the badger and it says Hufflepuff on it. This thing is super heavy, mind you. I had this on my backpack the whole week we were away. This thing is massively heavy. So, there's that. <laughs> and I just threw it. Uh, we have postcards. Technically, I got three postcards, but this is the one that I wanted for myself. I mailed out the other two today when I had stamps and a time to actually write it. I dropped the card, sorry. Uh, the one that I sent out... Oh, oh no. Angel, how, no. Angel now has nothing on her head. Ah, Angel! You dropped your things! But, um, the postcard that I got for the two people I mailed them out was actually Mickey and Minnie inside of Pluto with the Magic Kingdom in the background, the castle. But this is the one that I have for us. Uh, I did not fill it, fill it out because I brought it home to where I had stamps. And I know you can get stamps in the Magic Kingdom, probably a few other places, but truthfully, I didn't know how much it would be and I wasn't about to risk spending an arm and a leg on two stamps. Well, technically it would have been three. So sorry, Sam, sorry, Monica. It's gonna say it was shipped from PA, so sorry. <laughs> but I did buy the cards in the park. Next, we have this premium chocolate assortment from Gear Deli, which was $17. But I bought this for Maria. She's a lovely lady that goes to my church. And outside of family, she was the only person that actually gave me money to help fund this trip. So I thought, get her a little souvenir. She does have a pin as well. But I got that one from trading, so. I did buy her this assortment of chocolate. And I believe Kiwadeli is supposed to be really good chocolate. I don't know because I've never actually had it. So it's very, very good. That's Grandma says it's very good, so I'm hoping Maria will like that. Yeah, yeah sure. Back to the stuffed toys. I have this adorable lady plushie. I love lady. We had a giant lady out in front of our pop century room, which I unfortunately did not get a photo of. Unfortunately, I said that twice. But we had a giant lady. The she was twenty-two dollars. <laughs> But well worth it. I love Lady and the Tramp so much. <laughs> Grandma's over there just staring at me. But she was well worth it. I didn't see any Tramp stuffed toys though. But I did see Lady who will go over here. <laughs> I'm getting slowly to the bottom. I did stop in Basin and picked up two things. I picked up this soap which if i remember correctly yep it smells like pumpkin this was five dollars and 98 cents so six dollars <laughs> and then i got this christmasy themed one which i don't have to smell but i'm going to smell which is peppermint and this was also six dollars <laughs> and 53 cents uh basin definitely very, very good. We did pick up bath salts. Tiffany filled up three. I filled up three. And we gave them to Mar, who went with us. And that was, I think, 
$26, so I paid $13, she paid $13, and we gave it to her as a gift. We also picked up a picture frame, well, Tiffany did. I picked up candy, again, one of the molten milk balls and a giant pack of the mini cookies. So, seven and I think six, I don't remember. The only other thing I got them was a journal set like I got my grandma, so that was also 10. Moving along, I did get pins. You can't go to Disney without pins. I got this stitch pin for my mom. I believe he was $10. It only has green, so I'm pretty sure this stitch was 10 if I remember correctly. My heart box was 12, I know that much for sure. This one I was so happy to find because I thought they discontinued it. And it was the Lady and the Tramp Starry Night Heart, which I believe was also 12. I honestly forget. <laughs> and then I believe this one, my final one was 12 as well, which I did not know this existed. I bought one. Whenever I showed Tiffany, she promptly bought one. It's kind of a gag. I think this is either 10 or 12. And that is this Descendants pin. <laughs> it looks like the logo from the first movie, but it's definitely the hairdos of the second movie. Uh, it says wickedly cool. <laughs> I'm more of a Mal, she's more of an Eevee. And, yep, saw this in Animal Kingdom and nowhere else. <laughs> I can't believe they had this, so we bought that. What's this? Oh, here's the other first visit button. <laughs> where is my birthday one? Did I show you my birthday one? I don't know where my birthday one went, <laughs> but that's okay. My final two items... I bought this adorable little Dumbo, which originally I kind of got because he was just so cute, and he is cute, but I've actually decided to give this Dumbo to the same little girl that's getting the blanket and the dress, because he's just so cute, and I can just imagine her cuddling him, and yes, he was $25, so this child is very spoiled. <laughs> But I love her so much, so I'm not going to complain. And who doesn't love Dumbo? Just look how cute. Look how cute! Look how cute. I can definitely see her cuddling him. Can't you? And my last, I promise, unless there's something else I don't see, my last official purchase of the trip, which I have to unravel, because they did kindly do that for me because it is very breakable. I'm so sorry for the noise. This is definitely trash. Was this $28 multi-square frame, which is very subtle Disney. It has for itty bitty Mickey's, one in each corner. Now, goodness knows it's going to be completely disney out whenever I put the photos actually in it. But, as it stands, it's pretty subtle. Oh, that's pretty. I know, right? <laughs> I did pick up a Duffy for Tiffany. That's not here. She'll show it off in her haul eventually, more than likely. Is that for Tiffany? No, this is for me. Oh. But... This was actually one of my first purchases. My very first purchase, though, I will say, was my mom's hat. And my very last purchase was Amber's shirt. <laughs> I do know that for sure. So that has been this massive haul. Goodness knows I uh, bought way too much, but I did come home with quite a lot of money, so. <laughs> Not going to tell you how much. So that's been it. I'm gonna ooh, show you my mess that I now have to clean up. Quite a lot of stuff. Okay. Bye, guys.